world. Oh, this is too much. Oh, this is too much. Very magical about to happen. Please let it be the rapture. I need a day off. <laughs> In two minutes, something very hip is happening. If you have a camera, make sure the flash is on. digested by some prehistoric nightmare.
sleeping, the jumpiness, constant, overwhelming, crushing fear that something terrible is about to happen. It's called hypervigilance, the persistent feeling of being under threat. It's not just a feeling, though. It's, it's like it's a panic attack. You know, like I can't even breathe. Like you're drowning? Yeah. So, if you're drowning... And you're trying to keep your mouth closed until that very last moment. But if you choose to not open your mouth, to not let the water in. You do anyway, it's a reflex. But if you hold off until that reflex kicks in, you have more time, right? Not much time. But more time to fight your way to the surface. I guess. Oh. 
more time to be rescued. More time to be in agonizing pain. Did you forget about the part where you feel like your head's exploding? If it's about survival, isn't a little agony worth it? I mean, what if it just gets worse? What if it's agony now and then? And it's just hell later on. And think about something Winston Churchill once said. If you're going through hell, keep going. My face above the water. My feet can't touch the ground, touch the ground, and it feels nice. I can see the sands on the horizon at time. You are not around. I'm slowly drifting away. Wave after wave, wave after wave. I'm slowly drifting. And it feels like I'm drowning, pulling against the stream, pulling against the. My face above the water. My feet can't touch the ground. Touch the ground and it feels like I can see the sands on the horizon every time You are not around I'm slowly drifting away Wave after wave Wave after wave I'm slowly drifting Like you're drowning? I'm slowly yeah. drifting away. So, if you're drowning And you're trying to keep your mouth closed until that very last moment but if you choose to not open your mouth to not let the water in you do anything to reflex but if you hold off until that reflex kicks in you have more time right not much time but more time to fight your way to the surface i guess more time to be rescued Above the water, my feet can't touch the ground, touch the ground, and it feels like I can see the sands on the horizon every time. You are not around, I'm slowly drifting away. Wave after wave, wave after wave, I'm slowly drifting away. And it feels like I'm drowning, pulling against the street. Against us, my face above the water. My feet can't touch the ground, touch the ground, and it feels like I can see the sands on the horizon every time. You are not around, I'm slowly drifting away. Wave after wave, wave after wave. How many times are we gonna do this? What? You cast your line and not catch anything? It seems like a million. I think you know what I'm talking about. Lying, uh, sneaking out, pretending to be Batman, Blue Justice, trademark pending, whatever. You're being reckless. Ugh, oh, not this conversation again. Hey, it's no fun for me either, but if you keep being irresponsible, we're gonna keep having this conversation. How is it irresponsible to use my power, Sonic? You're supposed to be 
my friend. Stop trying to be my dad. I can take care of myself. Sonic, take care of yourself. It's not what being a hero is all about. It's about taking responsibility for other people. And right now, whether you want to hear this or not, you are still just a kid. You got some more growing up to do before you're ready to be the big hero. And trust me when I tell you there will come a time when your powers will be needed. But you don't choose that moment. That moment chooses you. Oh, look at you. I just got, I just got goosebumps. Wait a second, did you steal that from Oprah? No, sir. That is a Wachowski family special. Okay, from my dad, in this very boat, on this very lake. He would always try and steer me in the right direction. That's what Patty and I have always tried to do with you. So, until your moment arrives, I want you to work on being a little more responsible. Brenda? Come, Brenda. High five on it. I'm upgrading Sinister 3.0 My game is next level Something very magical about to happen You want to be the rapture, I need a day off Knuckles thinks I'm the key to finding the Master Emerald. 
And why did he mention Long Claw? There must be a connection. Wait a minute, there is? Look, there's an emerald symbol on the map Long Claw gave me. I never knew what it meant before. Something's happening. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, my game is next level. Longclaw? Hello, Sonic. If you're watching this, then something has happened to me. And I pray you've made it to Earth unharmed. This world has been chosen for a very important reason. It's the secret location of the Master Emerald. Wow. The Emerald has the power to turn thoughts into reality. I just take both Marshall Man from Ghostbusters. In the wrong hands, it could threaten all life in the universe. Protecting the Emerald was my sacred duty, and now I must pass that responsibility to you. This is my moment. Follow the map. Find the Emerald.